Yo, boys, before we get into this video, I just want to say um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. Like, honestly, it means the world to me. Like, it's crazy that, like, even a few months ago, like, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I feel like just YouTube and all the support I've been getting recently is just, like, insanely cool. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just, like, an average person, you know? Nothing really special. And you guys uh, continue to support me, and it's, like mind-boggling how crazy it really is um so i just want to say from the bottom of my heart i really do love you guys and i said like it literally means the world to me that you guys like take time in your day to text me let me know what you guys think of what i'm posting and just like you know overall just you know show me love and stuff and i want to show it back to you guys i really do love you guys everything you do for me just it, it all gets noticed all right like i just want to let you guys know that like i i appreciate literally every single one of you guys that like supports me like it really means a lot um and I feel like, bro, my dreams are, like, slowly, slowly, but surely coming true, you know? Um, yeah, boys, unboxing, super sick. It's a cool way to get your name out there. Um, been training my fucking ass off. Sorry, I haven't been posting really a lot, but it's hard to post and upload and fucking train at the same time, especially if you want to win how bad I want to win. I've been training nonstop. Um, but other than that, boys, I'm in the gym every single day, every night by myself hitting cardio, hitting the pads, hitting the fucking bag, hitting fucking whatever I need to do, getting my weight up. Um, I had three opponents, boys, literally three opponents. One dropped out, the other one broke his rib, now I'm on my third and it's finally official, so can't wait. There was definitely up and downs. I'm working on a documentary right now. You guys don't even know that yet, but it's coming out soon. But yeah, boys, if you guys made it to this part, um, the pay-per-view is now available. So if you guys really want to support me, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys go into the description. Um, you'll see it. Um, Spar Wars Entertainment. If you guys can fucking buy the pay-per-view, it would really mean a lot to me. It's a Big Mac meal at the end of the day, dude. It's really not that much money. And if you guys want to see a cool show with a whole bunch of fighters, a stacked card. I think it's like 20 fights. I'm on that. It's my first ever boxing debut. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys can go over there, click the link, show me support. And also, don't forget to use my code, Luigi, all caps, L-U-I-G-I. 15 if you guys use that code it shows them that i can sell tickets it supports me it's showing that like and it also saves you guys like a dollar i think so like why not do it you know what i mean it's a win-win situation um but it also yeah like i said it supports me it shows them that i can sell tickets i have enough fan base that they can buy tickets for me and they want to see me fight you know what i mean so in the future if they ever want to do another one it's a higher chance of me getting back on the cards and stuff like that so i would really really appreciate it also, I'm doing a giveaway with my own money of $50. So if you guys end up buying it and using my code, just send me a screenshot after you guys purchase the pay-per-view. Send it over to my Instagram and I'm going to enter you into a raffle. And at the end of the um, at the end of like 14 or 15 days, I'm going to spin the wheel. Whoever wins it gets $50 via Cash App, PayPal, whatever you guys want to do. You, you will get $50. And basically, if you end up winning that, you get to watch the fight for free and you make money on the side. So it's a win-win situation, boys. Um... I would really, really, bro, it would literally mean the world to me if you guys can purchase that and see what I have in store. I've been training my ass off, and I want people to see this. I really want people to see what I have in store. Um, yeah, boys, let's get straight into the video. First time being interviewed, I say some cool shit. The interviewer was super cool. I love you guys. July 27th, I'm going to kill somebody. I love you guys. Appreciate you. Right. I am here with Luigi Bellotto, who is making his boxing debut, I take it, on the 27th of July at KO Zone Miami, Stronger Than All Fighting Series 5. If you cannot make it in person, please be sure to watch the pay-per-view live on millions.co. You can check out Spire Wars Entertainment on Instagram for tickets to the event and link to the fight then for the pay-per-view. Luigi, how are you feeling, brother? Good. I'm ready. I've been training for months, and I'm just, like, ready to put on a show. Am I right in saying what I'm saying? Is this your boxing debut? Yeah, 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 brilliant. So, what I guess what has inspired this? Why are you fighting on the twenty seventh of July? Well, like two years ago, or like maybe a little bit longer. It was like right before COVID happened. I was doing boxing for like two years, and I like really fell in love with the sport. I thought it was a really good sport. It got like my mindset right and everything like that. And then when COVID happened, I like you couldn't really go to the gyms anymore and stuff like that. So I just ended up quitting, and I was just like, oh, maybe I, boxing's not for me. Maybe that's like a sign. And then, like, over the course of, like, six months, uh, my buddies were, like, doing, like, boxing, and they were starting up boxing, martial arts, MMA, all that cool stuff. So I was like, I want to get back into it. 
and then I do YouTube and stuff. And then I seen like there was like an influencer on that card, and I was like, oh, I want to try it. And then I um texted them, not expecting a text back, and they hit me up, and they were just like, hey, if you want to be a part of this new event, um, you're more than welcome to. And I was like, yeah, that's a perfect opportunity for me to like. It's a reason to be in the gym, and it's also like a cool way to show off my skills in front of everybody. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I ended up getting back into it. That's fantastic, man. So do you feel like you have some natural ability with boxing? Because I I'm um in my limited combat sports experience, I've boxed before. Um, yeah. but grappling I feel comes much more naturally to me. Do you feel yeah. like you have some natural predis like predispositions for boxing? Yeah, definitely. Like my technique and everything, like even when I was in the gym the first time around, he was like it looks like you've done this before. Like I yeah. had a, have yeah. a nice, he was just like, you have very good form and power. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me what weight uh, will you be fighting at then? We're at 140, uh, no, 152 for the weight. 152. So it's not, yeah. Cool. And are you around that weight right now? What are you walking around at, at the moment? Right, right now, currently I'm at like 150. So like, yeah, I only need like two more pounds. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, easy enough, easy enough. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be draining yourself just using yeah. just tailgate two point oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. The only thing that sucks is, I had like three opponents prior to this, and they both they both dropped out. And the first one was like the weight was one thirty five, so I was cutting down a lot to get to that weight. Then he backed out, and then the other opponent was one forty five, so I gained up weight. He backed out, and now I'm on this person. Now it's one fifty two. So like, let's hope stays at that. Yeah, fingers crossed, man. I think you're gonna make your debut at heavyweight if it keeps going the way you are. Oh, I know. Listen, I I feel like there's so much to um to overcome when you train a combat sport. Um, like boxing, I've I've limited striking experience, but like it sounds stupid, but like one thing that I felt very unnatural doing was like punching someone in the face. I would always like pull back when we were sparring. Um, what have you had to overcome in uh, throughout this training camp, throughout your boxing journey? Um, like, I feel like, uh, cardio, like cardio is like so important. People don't realize how much like cardio is important. Like you can have the most skill, you can have the most power, but it's like, if you don't have enough energy to keep on going, it's like, you can't win. So like, yeah, cardio, I've been working on a lot. When I first started, I could barely go one round. Now I'm going all the rounds, like, like perfectly. Um, and also just like mental, like you gotta, like, people think it's like all physical. Like you just need to train, train, train. You're going to be good. It's like, Mentally, you need to, like, in thing in your head before you even win, you're going to win. It's not, like, an if. Like, it's just, like, all mental. But, like, yeah, that was, like, the things I had to overcome. Mm. So. And can you tell me anything about this opponent, then, apart from the fact that he's 150-odd pounds? I don't know. I don't even know. Really? Like, the promoter was just, like, this is – he's been training for, like, a year. It's a good matchup for you. And I was, like, okay, I'm ready. Like, I, I don't care. They could put anybody in front of me, and I'm going to fight them. I don't I, – like, I really don't care. This guy's uh, – Guys, Star Wars Entertainment answer to Donald Cerrone. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. So, where do you want to take this? Like, obviously, you're getting started in boxing right now, but where do you see this going? Like, is this something you'd like to continue? Like your journey and maybe influencer boxing? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I can maybe see like misfits like in the future. Maybe I feel like that would yeah. be. Oh, cool um, but yeah, right now I'm really just focused on this fight and. The there's like a couple of cool fight leagues out there. Like there's like this new thing called Creator Fight League. I don't know if you know what it is, but Heard it's like of us. yeah, yeah, upcoming thing. Maybe I can go over to there. I don't know, just bigger and better things, and then I can stick with Spar Wars, get like bigger named fighters on there and stuff like that. Anything like that, that's cool to me. And so, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. For people that don't know you, like, um, tell me about your journey in content creation or what you do at the moment. Yeah. So, um. I always been like into like film, like when I was younger and me and my buddies like in like middle school and stuff like that, we always used to like film vlogs and stuff like that. Um, film little like movies and stuff together. Um, but yeah, I was just always big into like filming, filming with my friends, getting big on YouTube. I had a channel before the channel I have now and it was at like 5,000 and then I ended up deleting it. It was like when I was in middle school and then I started to re-pick up COVID. No, I started to re-pick up YouTube over COVID after I stopped boxing and I started doing like prank style videos and stuff like that. And then I just like fell out of pranks, started doing um, movies, like short film type things. And then um, right now I just do like vlogs and I do just like content based around like whatever I'm doing in life. Like currently I'm doing like boxing content because that's what I'm about to do for a little bit and see where I go with that. 
but yeah, I've always been around like film and all that stuff. I think like being an influencer is a cool like thing to like influence the youth and then like I don't know, just be somebody to, for somebody to look up to. I think that was always like cool to me. But yeah, currently I'm just doing YouTube. I do landscaping too, so it's just yeah. like yeah, just doing whatever I gotta do at this. Hard point. work. Landscaping's yeah. hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it probably <laughs> feels a bit rough training now after a full day landscaping. Yeah, it's terrible, but. <laughs> so okay so you do want to inspire and influence the youth of of today so if you could get a message out there then what would it be um the message of the youth um whatever you put your mind to you can do even though that sounds like so cheesy and like i know everybody says that but it's like literally so true like people limit themselves so frequently that it's like it becomes like a normal thing like it's like i don't know like i really feel like if you literally put your mind to something and not just like i'm not saying to something and then like stay in your house all day don't go after it like you're never going to do anything with that but if you put your mind to something and actually like do every single part to get to where you need to be i feel like everything is capable of everything is hand reach you can get to that if you like really really want it so yeah yeah really yeah yeah and listen you you're you sound like someone that has a good support network do you find that something that's true with your family friends like how do they feel about you fighting and and um how how helpful has that been in the build-up no, definitely good. Like, all my friends, like, they're, they're like, oh, I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to watch. Some of my friends are flying out with me to, like, be there with me. But, um, yeah, like, the, all of them support me. My mom's a little worried because she's like, oh, it's your mom at the end of the day. She's always worried. Like, even when I was doing boxing and we had, like, sparring matches and stuff like that, she would always, like, be, like, there, but she would always be worried. But, like, she's just like, I want you to win. Like, train as hard as you can but don't take it like easily and stuff like that so yeah everybody's like supporting me my mom's a little worried but yeah that's about it where are you based out of right now oh uh, philadelphia philadelphia mm, help me out my american geography is all over the shop is it far away from florida uh, for like and like if you wanted to drive there i think it's like 20 hours but i think if you fly it's like four so it's not that bad it's not I'm the fine. end of the world fine yeah. Matt, so so listen, so like beyond boxing, like have you any other other martial arts experience? Uh I used to do wrestling, but that was like mm -hmm. in it was I was like super young. I think it was like middle school, but it was like for like the first year of middle school and then I stopped. Yeah. But yeah. And I see you're wearing a UFC t shirt. Are there any combat sports um athletes you admire right now? Any any favorites? Definitely. Um Right now, I I mean, boxing-wise, I love Mike Tyson. I feel like he's, like, the best to do it. Even though, like, he doesn't have, like, he never, I know he lost, but, like, still, I love Mike Tyson. That's a Mike Tyson glove right there, signed by Really? Damn, yeah. okay. I love Mike Tyson. Um, But also, like, UFC, Alex Pereira, super cool. Uh, I like Nate Diaz. Uh, Who else? Conor McGregor, you know, he was, like, the best. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. I like Sean, Sean O'Malley's cool, too. I, I really like Sean O'Malley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sean, Sean's a big one. I feel like he's going to take off soon. He just yeah. needs to string together a couple more defenses, right? Yeah. So, like, you're an influencer, man. Are there any brands that you feel are, are killing it in sports and sports media right now? Is there anyone you'd love to maybe collaborate with in future? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I, I really like, like, Gymshark, stuff like that. Young LA is super cool, too. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, like, I, I would get involved with, like, uh, like any like type of protein powder, all that type of cool stuff. Like people that do stuff like that, like I would love to get involved with. That, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah. Do you feel like this is the, like the the genesis of nearly a pivot then towards becoming a combat sports creator rather than moving away from vlogging and or maybe integrating vlogging with it? But do you think this could be the start of of you changing direction with your content? Yeah, most definitely. Like I definitely yeah. like if, if like if everything comes good out of this and like I end up winning and stuff like that, I definitely want to like pivot my content towards that because I can also still do vlogs. I can do like fight camp blogs, all that, all that cool stuff. And like, just like, I don't know. I feel like it's easier to make content around. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely get to see a pivot. It's going to be cool, man. Like brother, keep making content. Tell us where, where can your fans, where can we keep up with your, you on socials? I know you said you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My YouTube channel is literally just my name, Luigi Bellato. And then um, my Instagram is Luigi underscore Bellato 69. So, like, yeah, you guys can find it, like, anywhere. For sure. For sure. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to watching your content around the fight. Keep making it, man. 
Um, yep. Keep training hard, keep doing what you're doing. Again, I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. 27th of July, KO's on Miami. This man is going to be competing on Stronger Than All Fighting Series 5. If you can't make it in person, please be sure to watch the pay-per-view live on millions.co. You can check out Spar Wars Entertainment on Instagram for tickets to the event and then the link to the exclusive pay-per-view, which is going to be live on millions. Luigi, any predictions for the fight before I let you go? Just don't blink. Don't blink. I promise you that power. You're going to see. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Listen, I want to thank you for your time, my man. Take yeah. care. Keep training hard. And uh, and best of luck. You're not going to need it, though, yeah? Of course, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one, brother. Take care.